personally, I think they did a fantastic job just because they went defense, defense, defense early, and they took a bunch of Alabama guys, Mm -hmm. or at least two, and two studs from Alabama. And, you know, for somebody that follows college football casually, I started saying this in November or December that they just need to draft a bunch of Alabama guys because Alabama had a historically good defense. People said that that was one of the best Alabama defenses in years. And so why not grab studs from Alabama that had such a fantastic defense? I well, think Jonathan Allen, Allen tumbles down the draft board to you right. at 17. He was supposed to be one of the top five, top ten guys. And he, you get him at 17, and then you get another stud from Alabama. So I love it. Then they drafted you know, a corner in the third round. Maybe he's not going to be ready at the beginning of the season, but they seem to be preparing for Bashad Breland's exit in a year. Mm-hmm. Unless he unless he balls out because this the year. last couple of years they've taken taken Fuller and now they've taken Moreau. Yeah. Right. And I like it. I look. They could have fallen prey. I told you it was fake news. This running back stuff. They they could have they could have you know reached for a Dalvin Cook or somebody. They could have gone that route. They didn't do that. They they could have uh, they could have done something crazy and draft like a uh, second like a Deshaun Kaiser or somebody like. They didn't do that. Now Cook wasn't available for him in the second round, right? He was drafted before their he pick. He went forty first, I believe. Yeah, he, to went the Vikings. Eight, he went eight spots. Could reach. I mean, you just never know what they could have traded down. Trade, trade up. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Um, so they, they didn't do that. They didn't go for like a quarterback, which would have, I, I disagree with Charlie. It would have been a full blown circus if they had drafted a quarterback, say in a second round or something like that. Um, they didn't even draft one later, which I think also bodes well. Um, so I, I like it. They needed defense. Six out of the 10 picks were defense. Yep. The first three were four out of the top five. I, 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 I like it. Now I'm not an expert on any and they of these did guys. Get a productive running back in the fourth round, at least in college. Yeah, I mean, they also made yep. it known that Matt Jones is on the trading block, i.e. he's going to get cut. Right. Yeah. So Matt say, Jones he's is done. What would you trade done. for Matt Jones? I mean, who's yeah. going to do anything there? Yeah, yeah that's so, just a big swing and a miss there. So without acting like I know anything about most of these guys they selected, I like on paper, I really like it. And I feel like, despite the chaos of this offseason, they have gotten better. I think they're a better football team today than they were at the end of last year. They should be. Yeah, I, 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 do. I believe that as well. Definitely defensively. And I mean, I think losing the receivers hurts. Losing the receivers hurts, but... If Doxon is ready to go, if he can play 16 games or close to it, that's huge, but you just never know with him. I never know with Doxon. I'm completely up in the air on that. I think that Pryor really still his best football is ahead of him, if he can stay healthy. Yeah, but I would say that's one position where they got worse. All the other positions, I'd say... But I think they could stand it. They got better. I could. They could stand to get... It's like this offense just has open receivers. I just feel like it can plug and play a little bit. 